Hello and welcome to the Festival of the Muses. This is a live stream presented by the Center for Hellenic Studies in collaboration with the Isadora Duncan International Institute, the Ecumenical Delphic Union, and the Committee for the Reinstatement of the Delphic Games. I'm Lana Coley, and I'm so excited to introduce the next performer, Dimitri Vasilakis. Dimitri is an internationally acclaimed jazz saxophonist, vocalist, composer, and educator. He has recorded five award-winning albums for the historic jazz label Candid Records and has played around the globe. Tonight, he joins us from Athens, live in his home studio. Please welcome Dimitri Vasilakis. Hello, Lana. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, very, I'm very excited and very happy to be here with you and uh, live streaming from my home, as you see. And uh, we have a, a connection uh, with uh, the Delphic Games and the Isidora Duncan International Institute that goes back uh, many years ago, actually 20 years ago. And uh, uh, we've, uh, I've also participated in two, two other um, uh, amazing uh, events for the Delphic Games. And the last one has been back in 2017. Uh, but of course, um, our last excellent interaction was uh, very important, was uh, at the United Nations. That was April 2018. I think you're going to show some, uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, um, clips from that to tomorrow. Yes. Mm, that's great. For, uh, from uh, the Jazz Democracy Forum that I, I presented there, and uh, Jean uh, did a nice, uh, amazing presentation, both uh, talking about the connection with uh, improvisation and dance, and, uh, and of course, the Dora Duncan um, concepts, and also the, the performance. So um, what I'm going to do for you tonight, I'm going to try to use the technology as best as I can. Uh, some elements I cannot use on the live performance, but I have uh, um, uh, some clips for you on video later. So I'm going to uh, perform um, two short pieces um, in the beginning. Uh, the first one is based on a, on a flowing uh, groove that I call it Ocean Groove. And I will trigger some uh, warm pads uh, through uh, AI um, and through this microphone when I improvise on the saxophone, on the soprano saxophone. So I'll, I'll try to do this first performance. The second one is called Persephone. It's not recorded yet, so it's a new piece, but uh, we used this back in 2009. We had this lovely tour with uh, Zin Bresciani and Isidora Duncan International Institute uh, called, um, uh, of course, uh, it was called Apollo and the Muses, and it was Stream of Life. The, that was the, the whole uh, con uh, you know, uh, concept. And, uh, of course, I'm very happy that um, uh, the Center of Hellenic Studies at Harvard is hosting that the whole event, and, uh, you know, we're honored, and uh, I want to say hello to Zoe Lafis, too, <laughs> and thank her also, <laughs> and, uh, okay, so, uh, shall I start? That would, that would be wonderful, please do. E e excellent, okay, I'll start with the groove, and then uh, gradually I'll put the saxophone in, and um, so let's uh, hear it. Um. Thank you. 
Okay, so how the how was the sound? You need the backing track more? Yes, we need we need that up a little higher. The saxophone sounds amazing. It's coming through so clearly. Okay, so let's play the second one then and we'll be fine. Thank you. 
So that was uh, Persephone. And uh, it's uh, something very relevant for today because Persephone was abducted by Hades. To, to she, he took her to the underworld. So she spends half the year um, from autumn until spring. She is uh, in the underworld and then she comes back to earth to bring spring for the rest of the year. So <laughs> you could hear how this in that long, low note. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what it made me think of just the, you know, uh, that very low. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, it is, it's a little bit, of course, uh, with this uh, kind of situation, uh, uh, it's very sensitive sound, uh, sound elements and how they, you know, how we respond to things. And we hope that uh, uh, very soon that we will be able to, you know, to hug each other again and, and play for people uh, in a live situation and dance and do all, th all the beautiful things we want to, you know, offer and exchange and, and share. Definitely, definitely. I know, I know the a performance in the Zoom room is, is not the same energy for sure. It's a, it's a real challenge, I think, for performers. Yes, but um, <laughs> no, I, I really enjoyed it. So <laughs> thank you so much. I'll, I can I can share with you now um, this video that I made uh, again at home. And now you, um, um, you're going to be hearing more of the artificial intelligence um, algorithms that we are using. The, we have collaboration from um, I'm teaching at the Athens University and we collaborate with IRCAM uh, Institute in Paris and with Georgia Tech um, uh, Institute of, of Technology in Atlanta. So um, we have, um, they have developed certain um, applications and algorithms and we, we're using them. And uh, what I'm going to be doing on those performances is that uh, um, I use this algorithm as a, um, a refragmenter, a refragmenter and reshuffler of any given material. So um, I have given some uh, special sounds and also poetry. So I have two Greek uh, poems, and, and um, so we'll start, um, uh, and the system will, will start to refragment uh, depending on the trigger that I was playing. Depending on the length of notes, the attack of notes, if I'm close or, or further um, away from the microphone, and uh, what, what range I was playing, uh, th that triggered special events, and these events uh, made uh, the algorithm uh, reshuffle the material in, an, in a random way. So th that's why I call the whole thing a jazz oracle, because it is like an oracle, uh, like, uh, you know, things come out, out as uh, uh, you don't know how this happened it happened like uh, um like it came from somewhere or you know you didn't have control over that so we w we actually uh, playing and dealing with randomness here uh, now uh, let me um uh, how can i do this and uh, share screen for you to see the um the quick time player the, um, exactly video? share screen and then check the little box to share your audio as well Mm-hmm. Share screen. Share computer sound. There you go. Okay, so here we go. And we have this. Let me know if it's too loud. I'm gonna put it in the middle somewhere. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> thanks thanks for the comments so uh, how was it the sound was okay sounds sounds great and i was grooving along and i <laughs> i'm getting text messages from people that they're into it so oh, nice nice zoe's dancing <laughs> oh <laughs> my greetings to zoe okay so uh, as you see the first and the third of the pieces they had poetry the first poetry was just two words uh, tefra, which is the Greek word for ash, and after. So tefra and after make, uh, you know, there's exactly uh, in, in a mirror. Um, they read and write exactly the same, so uh, only those two. And then triggering those F, R, TEF, TAF, these sounds, they were very percussive, so I was trying to sort of uh, communicate with the system with that. The other poem, uh, the, uh, the groove piece, is uh, based on uh, Fibonacci series in mathematics. And uh, so um, you start saying something and then you double it and then you add the previous number, you know, exactly as it is in, in this uh, famous series. And of course, the golden rule is, uh, is in there in the Fibonacci series. So that's, uh, that's a connection with uh, our, you know, Greek heritage and the language. And so uh, I was very fortunate that a very, a very famous actor came to the university one afternoon uh, during our rehearsal and he recited that poem. So I was uh, able to record him and then my students did the same and then I mixed this recording. So I had this beautiful uh, interaction and uh, I jumped over that. That's <laughs> very neat. D what, um, I'm just curious you know, because when you improvise with people, it's so it's so responsive or more flexible. Do you what do you like about improvising with the algorithm or the way that it responds or doesn't respond to you in the same way as a human might? Okay, no, it's like a tool for us. It's like a, a, a new friend. Um, the, it's it's limited what what uh, the AI can do at the moment. It's whatever you assign the AI to do. So there are uh, the we got some algorithms that are they doing a kind of continuation, a reflection of what you did. They they reply uh, very similarly, and then gradually they learn from what you play, and they do something similar. So it's like question and answer. 
So this is uh, this is a good one. Uh, the one that I'm doing, as I explained, is a reshuffler, refragmenter. Uh, so this is exciting because you don't know what's going to happen. So uh, and then if you have a if you have a human mu a musician that can handle the different scenarios of the algorithm, then I it gets more in more layers. But of course, it's just a friend that can uh, help us, uh, and then we interact with uh, the system. So usually, I have. Uh, it's not only me. I have other musicians, and uh, most importantly, actors too. So, you know, these people are v are getting excited to interact with what we're doing. So I find this uh, kind of creative, and um, I, I, I want to to put my efforts in researching uh, the semantics and uh, you know the meaning of things in in different languages and different doctrines like jazz and of course uh, prose and language no, that's that's wonderful it sounds really fun i'm trying to imagine i'm i'm excited by the idea and it'd be fun to try with the uh with the ai mm -hmm. and uh, i don't know if there's any any questions but uh, you know coming up is the festival in Rhodes. Difficult. Uh, it's difficult situation with the corona, um, uh, you know, uh, thing. Um, so we might be doing this as an educational festival uh, in the fall. But uh, October twelfth, uh, uh, we are very happy to to invite uh, this lovely Shimon robot from Georgia Tech. Uh, th this lovely robot pl <laughs> plays marimba and also uh, sings. And uh, I don't know. La uh, recently, they say that uh, he or she writes lyrics, and uh, it's exciting. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to improvise. We're going to play in a full kind of uh, jazz ensemble situation with uh, the master students uh, of the Athens University at the Athens Concert Hall. And this is uh, happening if everything goes right, of course, and we're ev everybody's healthy and happy. It's going to happen on the Octo October 12th in Athens. Wonderful. Well, keep us posted about that. Uh, let's hope uh, things seem much better uh, in Greece right now than they do in the United States. So I hope that your plans can continue. That sounds mm -hmm. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, I, I don't know. I had um, uh, also a beautiful time uh, in D.C. with Joy uh, at, the, at the Harvard Center back in uh, May 2018. So I want to, you know, just express my appreciation for the, you know, for the hospitality and everything that we did, and we look forward to do to do more. And of course, I want to send all my love to uh, everybody at uh, the Isidora Duncan International Institute. Of course, Jean Bresciani and all those um, beautiful people. I I consider them uh, my family. Yeah, it's it's amazing work that they do, and everyone who's watching this evening, please please watch tomorrow afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Uh, at, let's see, I think it's 4.30. Now I don't have the mm -hmm. schedule memorized. It's 4.30 mm -hmm. we'll be showing this this clip of, of Jean's remarks at the United Nations followed by a performance with Dimitri and dancers from the Isadora Duncan International Institute. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much, Dimitri. This was wonderful. Thanks for telling Thank us you. about your projects and we'll, we'll stay tuned and uh, you know, a whole new world with, with AI interacting with us, making music, creating rhythm. Mm -hmm. So, all Thank right. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Thank you. And congratulations for all the, you know, the organizing, all, all, you know, this beautiful um, festive event. Okay. My love to everybody there. Thank all you. right. Kalinikta. Kalinikta. <laughs>